Hello guys, Aaron the Boy here. Um, today we will be making the hatchling scroll. Um, so let's see. Got my leg and I've got my other wing. Okay. Um, and I, I will show you how to make them if you want to do like the actual scrolls colors, like with the purple and the gray. I'll show you how to do that and then you guys can add a couple spikes onto the back if you want. <coughs> uh, so, let's see. Okay, uh, let's start off with his leg. So what you want to do, I'm using the uh, glow in the dark blue. What you want to do though is take two of your body color bands, which would be typically gray. You can tap cap it off with a body color or a black. Um, I'm just gonna use body color. Cap it off four or five times. Up to you guys. Um, and then loom it. And then you can either tie it off, uh, put it further down on your loom, or put it on a band or something. But I'm just gonna... On a hook or something, not a band. I'm just gonna tie it off and then set it over by with my other leg. Um, and now the wing. So take two of your body color bands like so one there and then one there um and then what you want to do is uh off. all right um if you're if you are doing a normal color if you're doing like a purple and gray scroll what you want to do is put a purple here put a purple one here but I am not going to, um, oh, how many do I want to go? One, two, three, four, right? No, three. So I want to go there, and there, and then let me check. I think it is, okay. And then what you want to do is take a, oh, don't. Goodness, oh, that band just like snapped on me. Um, take a triple looped body color, put it here. Take another triple looped body color and put it here. All right. Then what you want to do is you want to cap it off. One, two, three, four. All right. See, just completely snapped. Um, and then you want to loom. So, loom it all the way up. Careful not to break any bands. Uh, don't catch your horizontal bands. <clears throat> there we go. And then you will want to make two of these. You can do two at the same time. Because of the fact that it doesn't take up much of the loom. So you want to... And then you want to those ones, and then you want to finish off looming it. All right, and then you want to take a band, say this band, and tie it off. All right, now that you have, you should have two legs, and now you will have to go back and make another wing. Make it opposite if you're using the purple and gray. Make it the same if it's any other color, or if you're doing it any differently. Um, so now you should have two wings, like so, and two itsy bitsy legs, like so. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to count and see how many. One. Alright, let me, I'm going to go ahead and do this as I go. So, one. One, two, five. Alright.
I had all the bands set out for this, and then my sister came in and threw something at him. And I think I, I'm missing a few maybe. All right, there. like that, and then. Oh, sorry guys. So like that, like that. Yeah, I'm definitely missing some. Oh well, whatever. I'll just yell at her later. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, uh, what you want to do here is you want to take two triple looped bands. You want to put one here. So we're not ending at one point, we're ending at these two. And then you want to take another triple looped band and put it here. And then you want to... Let me see. Double loop the rest of the way down for your horizontals. Yeah, I need to open this other pack. Or this pack I have over here. Oh, I just dropped one. Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, double loop the rest of the way down. For your horizontal bands. Actually, this last one we want to do triple looped. Because it'll just look nicer. Alright. Now what we want to do, do we, we, yeah we do, we want to attach the wings now, so take it, um, if you have, if you did the, if you did the purple and gray, you want to make sure that the purple one is facing forwards towards the head, if you did not do that, and then it doesn't matter, uh, you just want to have them on this peg and this peg, uh, curving downwards, alright? Alrighty, there we go, now what we need to do is attach the legs, so take off the ba back, no don't take off the back triple looped band, don't do that, take off the, this double looped band, second to last horizontal one, and then take off the two double looped bands going to that peg, and then what you want to do is you want to take your little leg, Go ahead and remove the tying off band because you don't need that anymore. And then you want to place one leg here and you want to place the other leg on the opposite peg. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Alright, like so, and then you want to replace this double looped band and this double looped band, and then you want to take your double looped horizontal band back onto there. And now, um, now we can loom. Alright, so just loom like you normally would loom. Be careful with these bands here, they might break, um, because there's so many bands on them. Alright, here, they might also break, so you just want to be careful and make sure that you grab the right ones. Um, and I did both. I was careful and grabbed the right ones. Um, alright. Sorry that I'm switching my loom around so much, it's just... It's easier for me to loom certain ways, so that's how I do it. Um, if you wanted to do spikes, you just put, you just make the spike, and then you put it on the horizontal band, and then put the horizontal band on. But I do not want to do spikes. Um. And now here you want to loom the one that's on the top. And next one. And then you want to loom this last band. And then what you want to do is you want to take a tying off band and tie this 
off. And then you may take him off the loom. And then you can take off all the tying off bands. And adjust him as you feel necessary. He might look a little funny because we did him this way. I should have done him the other way. But, um, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Alright. So here he is. So, um, all you need to do is adjust everything as you see fit. Oh, gee. This leg is not nice. Anyway, um, what you want to do now is just untie all your tying bands. Mm hmm Use your hook to get in there if you need to. Alright. It's okay if these ones break, because they're not important to the actual dragon itself. They're just there to help keep the parts together previously. Um, and so there's your, your little guy. Let me get his tail bands. One, two. Alright. Let me grab these bands. There we go. Alright. Let me. There we go. Now, what you want to do is take six bands straight down on the loom, double looped. And this, we are finishing off his tail. Um, if you're wondering what color I used, I'm using the glow in the dark neon blue, I guess. The electric blue. Um, now what you want to do is take your guy, go through the tying off bands, like so. Put him on the very bottom peg, that which you have the band on, and then just, um, loom all the way up. Oops. Moving my camera. Here we go. This way is easier for me to loom, and the other way is easier for me to put bands on. It's kind of funny. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to take a band of your tail color, tie it off. This one, you do want it to be the body color because this one will stay on it. Um, and then you just want to weave it back in a couple of times. Like so. And then wrap it around once or twice. So, and then you can tie up, then you can take off this final tying off band, and then there's your baby Skrill. He's so adorable. Alright, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.